r slash today I learned. Amazon owns the patent for purchasing things with a single mouse click. Indeed they do, smart bastards. Now quick, someone get on the patent for a purchase with one thought. Am I the only one who hates one click purchases anyway? Like, I want to get an itemized list of all fees and shipping charges, all details about my order, before it is placed, and one click purchasing, seems like it wouldn't have that. Source, I have never clicked the one click purchase button, out of fear. I've accidentally bought myself flowers this way. That was very thoughtful of you. You shouldn't have. Thoughtless and thoughtful at the same time. I don't even understand what, exactly, they patented. It seems like it's their particular internal system for knowing who is placing the order, and then placing it. Which still seems like bulldump. Edit typo. What a lot of people don't understand, is it's not the idea that gets patented, it's the implementation. There's a bit of logistics, and engineering that goes into making one click work. Edit. Typo. And this is exactly how I ended up with a $2200 plasma TV a few years back. No joke. Grappen is bad for this too actually. The buy now button is excessively large and way too easy to misclick. Today I learned that somehow this fact had faded into history already. You won't believe what Amazon can do with a single click. Credit card providers love them. 15 reasons why Amazon makes it too easy to buy stuff online, and you won't believe what number 12 is. What is it, you truck? What is number 12? The company I work at was building an SMS ordering system. We were advised to add two steps to our ordering process, to avoid infringing these patents. This is a chilling effect of patents. What the hell? Can I just get a patent for 2 click purchasing, 3 click purchasing, 4 click purchasing, all the way up until the only competitors left are Amazon and me? Ridiculous. Next thing we know, drinking damn water is patented. This is patent trolling it at its finest. Should be criminal, but this type of bull turd legal behavior is the only reason Thomas Edison was even famous. Scumbag that he was. If you ever get into patent law, many tech parents are pretty absurd. Patently absurd. You better delete that comment. I have a patent on that particular play on words. This is why we can have nice things. I've always considered the one click patent to be the first bullshit software patent. It started a trend where every single obvious idea could be patented by just tacking on a computer at the end. Yeah, it might be that one click wasn't the first, but I don't recall ever hearing about the ridiculous ones before. I mean, the GIF patents preceded by quite a few years, but I don't remember them trying to enforce it until after one click. Wizards of the Coast own a patent for tapping or rotating a card 90% to indicate it has been used. I've always thought that was bull turd. I remember reading a story about how, when the programmers were told to develop the one click by system, they finished the coding and went to show the CEO or someone else high up in the company. When he tested it, he went to a product, clicked the one click buy button and a confirmation box popped up asking if he was sure he wanted to make the purchase. He then had to explain to the programmers that this meant it was actually a two click buying process. To them, the confirmation box was kind of standard protocol and didn't count as an extra click. A true one click purchase would be awful. That quacky CSS or ad caused the web page to jump slightly as you were about to buy something. Oops, you just bought a dildo. You can easily just cancel the order if that happens. I would probably take more than one click to cancel. And Apple owns a patent for rectangles with rounded corners. Yeah we should sue Microsoft for putting in rectangle with round corners in paint. R slash I am very smart.